Welcome to my first ever vlog. I have always wanted to do this since I, since as long as I can remember. I've looked up to so many YouTubers and I can't believe that I'm finally making my dreams come true and I'm vlogging. The one thing that's a little annoying about vlogging is like you want to look at yourself, but instead you have to look at this like dark circle. It seems like you're staring into the abyss, but Anyways, today's going to be a really, really fun day because I am getting ready for my big trip. I'm going to Iceland next week and the main goal is to try to catch the Northern Lights. So it's a very like goal oriented trip and I'm super excited. I really, really hope I can see the Northern Lights. But anyways, I am first going to go to a coffee shop just to kind of get things in order. I want to make sure my last final planning is done. After that, I'm going to head to the mall to get a jacket. I've been surviving this winter without any jacket. Like, <laughs> I have been wearing this jacket that has like the arms cut out and I don't know how I survived this winter. Honestly, it wasn't that bad in Virginia. But for Iceland, I'm going to need an actual heavy duty jacket. So I'm going to get the Super Puff um from aritzia i'm finally gonna invest in a good jacket i think it's i've done a lot of research and i do think it's the best like long jacket because i want like a really long jacket that i can wear in any cold environment that's like weatherproof that's rainproof so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then probably get some other clothes for iceland and then i'm gonna hang out with a friend go on a walk and then go to yoga um make lunch, make dinner. So it's gonna be a great day and you guys are going to follow me along. So this is the outfit for the day, a blue sweater, some jeans, and I'm just gonna wear some Ugg boots with this. But let me show you the jacket that I've been wearing. Here's the jacket. It's definitely really cute and it is puffy, but it just doesn't protect the arms. So I'm basically gonna get this, but one that covers the arms as well. Also, I really wish I had filmed this, but I, this is all like natural curls and I'm going to show you exactly how to get it done um, in another vlog. Um, it's heatless. So this year, my goal is to grow my hair, make it more natural, make it more healthy. And I did these heatless curls. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. I'm obsessed. Like I'm actually obsessed. I can't believe that I found a hack to not curling my hair. I just got back from the coffee shop and I did tons of research on the Northern Lights. I cannot wait to share with you guys about all the information I got on how to maximize your chances of seeing the Northern Lights in Iceland particularly. So I'll be making a separate video that's gonna be a little bit more formal, that's gonna break down like what websites to use, what weather conditions you need, um, because I wanna share it as I am myself trying to see it next week and hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be able to see the Northern Lights if not, it's okay. We'll go another time. I'm also not going to set my expectations really high because so many people say it's like a hit or miss. It really depends on a lot of things that are just outside of your control. Um, but it would be amazing if I could see the Northern Lights. Like that would be the cherry on top. Um, so now I'm going to head to the mall and I'm just going to get some jackets and um, clothes to wear for layering because Iceland's gonna be so cold next week. Um, even though it says like 35 degrees, that it doesn't matter because it's literally surrounded by water and it's very windy. The weather conditions can always change. So you gotta be prepared for it. I've been to Iceland before and I went in the summertime and even then it was really cold. So I can't imagine how it's gonna be in March.
say it's a pretty successful trip. I got a jacket, I got some thermal wear for Iceland, and then I also even got some Apple accessories for my laptop and new phone. The one annoying thing about the iPhone 15 Pro is that you have to change literally all your iPhone accessories to USB-C. And it's just like a pain in the neck because my car charger, the chargers I have at home, they're all useless. I can't use it. So you, you literally have to buy it all over again. So it's annoying, but I finally did it. And hopefully they're not gonna change the cables ever again because it's so expensive. This is the super puff jacket that I ended up getting from Aritzia. And it's really lightweight and so like super good quality. I'm really happy with this purchase. It was very expensive, <laughs> it was $350, but compared to like Canada Goose, I feel like it's a fraction of the price and you're still getting good quality. Here's how it looks like. Let's zip her up. This is so cute. So this is the jacket. Got my packages. Let's do a little bit of unboxing. So the first thing I got is the Seamoss Gel. This is the elderberry flavor. Super excited for this because this is great for your hair, for your skin, and I'm gonna take a spoonful every day. So excited for that. Now we have an Aritzia package. Let's open it up. I got this bodysuit for working out. It's great for yoga and Pilates. I have this in three other colors and I'm obsessed because it's so buttery smooth. It fits so nicely. It snatches you up. It looks so flattering and it's just one piece so you don't have to worry about wearing like pants and shirt separately i don't know it, ju it just makes workouts so much better other things that i got this pride and prejudice book face it's so beautiful i love it i'm obsessed with it this is gonna be great to put flowers in put it on a bookshelf behind you and it just adds to my aesthetic so as you can see from my apartment background it's very Pride and Prejudice, romantic vibes. The next thing I got was this cute little candle. I'm just obsessed with the sculpture look and it has this wick. It smells like lavender. Oh, it's so calming. This is so beautiful. Other things I got more so for beginner content creator, I got a mic. So I got the Rode mic and I'm gonna hook this up to my phone so that when I film talking videos, the audio is going to be much better. I heard that you really don't need to invest in an expensive camera, but the audio is really important. So this was like $20, $30 on Amazon. So this is hopefully going to boost up the quality of my video. And then the last thing I got was this ring light. Okay. Just for lighting, because I usually get home when it's dark, especially in the winter time, and I lose so much good natural lighting. So I'm going to hopefully film with this ring light. Making dinner. How cute are these tote bags? They're so small. How cute! It's the mini tote bag. It's, it's so cute. This is like perfect for lunches and picnics. So just for reference, this is the big one and this is the little baby one. Oh my god. Ah, I'm so obsessed. So yeah, if you are near Trader Joe's, go get this now while they're hot. The mini tote bag, the mini canvas tote bags. Today's gonna be a great day. Even though it's really gross and muggy outside, it's like raining and I'm just like so over this weather, but it's okay because what matters is in here. I started off the morning really early. I woke up at 7 a.m., went to yoga class, and then I got groceries at Whole Foods. So um, just kind of getting prepared for the weekend. I don't know. I do Sunday stuff on Saturday. Is that weird? I just feel like I have more energy on Saturday to actually get errands done. I'm gonna go to, well, I'm gonna make some lunch and I'm going to probably head to my parents, hang out with them and my sister. And then I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble. I wanna get a book that I've been really wanting to read. 
I've had to limit myself to just one book a month. So it becomes like a, a, a monthly ritual to go get a book. It becomes more special. And then I'm just gonna be preparing for Iceland a little bit more, researching, packing, because it's coming in four days, you guys. I'm so excited. I have not been on a trip in a really long time. Like just the feel of even going to an airport and being in a plane, like just that feeling. Oh, it's so excited. I'm so excited. That's coming around the corner and I'm gonna take you guys with me. And I'm super excited to vlog the whole experience but yeah i'm just gonna spend the rest of the night probably editing getting ready for next week we're gonna make chicken caesar salad wraps so first i'm just gonna cut some iceberg lettuce up for the wraps here i'm gonna add it to my salad spinner just because i don't trust that they wash the lettuce. We're gonna clean this. Spin her up. The next part's pretty easy. I'm gonna get some rotisserie chicken. This one I got from Whole Foods. And you just wanna open it up. It's like a little purse. <laughs> it's like, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I haven't had a rotisserie chicken in a really long time. Anyways, you get your chicken. And you just want to cut it up into just like reasonable chunks or cubes. So far we have the lettuce and the chicken and now we're going to add some cheese, Parmesan cheese. Okay. And then I add Parmesan crisps. If you don't have these, you can use croutons or you don't even have to have any of this. But this is pretty good to add for the crunch factor. So this is what Sweet Green adds to their kale Caesar salad, and I'm obsessed with it. So I always add this to my Caesar as well. And lastly, we have Caesar dressing as well. Now we're going to warm up our burrito. I'm using this one by Siete. If you are watching and you're desi, you'll totally get how I literally have no fear of touching the pan with my bare fingertips. <laughs> like, it's just such a brown girl thing. Like, we're used to fire, like rotis and stuff. Like, literally, I could just touch the fire. Growing up, my mom used to say it's because the tips of your finger get cooked. Like, they get so thick, the skin gets so thick that it doesn't even feel anything. We're going to add in our Caesar salad mix i'm gonna put it like this listen i'm no professional burrito wrapper so we'll see how this goes problem is that i always overfill my burrito but we'll see how this goes oh my god oh my god wait that's actually really good <gasps> wow oh you know what i'm gonna do I'm going to put this back on the pan so we can like crisp it up. Let's do that. I'm gonna just cut her up. Wow, I'm pretty proud of this, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. That's bomb. Heading over to my parents' home and um, they haven't eaten lunch yet, so I figured that I would make them also the chicken Caesar salad wraps. So I'm taking everything to go. This is my outfit. <laughs> it's like a super cozy lounge outfit because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be laying around reading my book. That's like my favorite thing to do at my parents. It's just so relaxing. I just take my book and then my sister reads too and we both just like lay around and it's really nice. We just like wallow together. <laughs> So this is my sister's room and it's just so calming and aesthetic. I just realized that we're looking like Cosmo and Wanda. <laughs> 
with our crew necks and hoodies but anyways yeah we're gonna go get some books and then afterwards i think we're thinking about getting some dessert <laughs> Having this massive carrot cake at Ted's Bulletin. It looks so good. This is so we go to the Blue Lagoon. Then I want to see if we could check out the volcano and just see. Because it is near the airport. You want to die? We'll see. We'll see. So I got this new bookshelf for my room. And I'm in desperate need for tips and recommendations in terms of how to organize this. I have a lot of things and a lot of books. Like obviously I have a lot more books than this. So let me just show you guys real quick. So my books are up here and this is just like a collection of my favorite books, but I really like them there. Um, and I do have some other books to put here, but they gotta look nice. You know, they just can't be random ones. All right, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you. I'm about to wrap this video up for the day, but I wanted to end it off by just showing you what I got at Barnes & Noble. So we're gonna do a little haul. The first thing I got was this bookmark and it has mushrooms on it. That's pretty cute. <laughs> I've needed a bookmark for so long. I've just been folding the pages, I know. That's like a taboo. Beautiful Pride and Prejudice exclusive Barnes & Noble edition book. This is mainly for just the looks of it. I've already read Pride and Prejudice and I love the book and I love the movies, but I really wanted to add this to my bookshelf in my room and I love the combination of blue and gold. Kind of along the same lines, I got another like coffee table book. This time, this is the Rumi Illustrated. Rumi is a Sufi poet. Um, he's Persian and he's very well known throughout the Middle Eastern and Southeast Asian community. In the morning time, it'd be nice if I'm having like my matcha and I just wanna read one of his poems. I'll have it on my coffee table. And this is the book that I mainly went for. It's called The Psychology of Money. And so if you haven't already guessed, I've been on my personal development self-help kick. I don't know what to call it. And my goals for the year is to Get my finances sorted out. I never in a million years thought I'd be reading a book on finances, but from what I've heard, it's not really about finances. It's more so about like the mindset behind it and the psychology behind it. And finances is something that's always caused just like so much stress for me. I think it'd just be nice to to look at the psychology behind it. And I think that way I'd be able to have a stress-free life <laughs> in regards to money. So yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know if I find any helpful tips. That is pretty much it for the night. I'm just gonna be wrapping up the day. I'm going to just finish editing my first vlog and upload that. And then I'll uh, edit this one later and upload it. But yeah, I will see you guys soon in the next vlog. I really hope you enjoyed this style of video. And if you're one of the few people who are out there watching this, I really appreciate it. And I would love if you subscribe and are just willing to follow along with me on my journey for self-development and also lots of traveling. Next week, I have a big trip coming up to Iceland and I'll be sharing a lot of behind the scenes videos. Thank you.